I was coming to think that this is a conference, regular conference, as we always did. But this is an educational. And then I'm, I'm going back with the profits to add things for our financial inclusion. Because you're talking to about very important people with the small farmer. And we cannot achieve the sustainable development goal, goal number one, number two, no poverty, zero hunger, without supporting that farmer. We have now 20,000 small farmers. If they do the micro insurance, we already agree that within a year, we should reach 100,000 small farmers. And this is what makes this diff uh, conference is different. Doing small scale interventions through private sector, meaning through only uh, either the insurer or the broker, or an NGO is not good enough. In order to cover adequately, let's say, a, 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 a country uh, on a large scale, you need uh, a public-private partnership. So you, you, it's always the uh, private sector that uh, gets involved first in terms of innovation, talking to data providers. Basically, the private sector, is its role mainly is to bring in the innovation, have the dialogue with um, the smallholder farmers, so the, uh, so the client, mm -hmm. and design the product. But then in order to actually uh, reach um, uh, significant, significant scale and sustainability, because those products need to be sustainable over time, you need uh, a public-private um, partnership, so you need government work hand in hand uh, with uh, that ecosystem that I've described, which includes obviously cooperatives, aggregators, um, MFIs, um, uh, regulators. So basically, it's a whole ecosystem, and only can only the government can uh, can play that role uh, if such systems uh, and such products are to be sustainable. I expect that uh, Syngenta can bring us uh, the models, can conduct a series of uh, pilot projects, so we can uh, learn, I can encourage our uh, insurance companies uh, to increase their outreach, to cover uh, more uh, smallholder farmers on the ground, because uh, up to now, the perspective of uh, financial institutions as well as insurance companies in Indonesia is agriculture having the, uh, among the highest risks uh, to be financed. So by, uh, by develop, by implementing, by piloting the most appropriate and sufficient uh, models, probably it could be changed. Uh, I don't expect it to come uh, very short, but maybe we can build uh, some strong fundamentals for more sustained uh, micro-insurance in the agriculture sectors. Many innovations are happening, many insurance providers, uh, tech institutions, uh, uh, developing partners like Syngenta, they're really working in terms of designing the right product solutions, right modeling, you know, how to bundle, how to, you know, uh, create a good uh, aggregator and insurance partnership agent models so this is the learning that i should take for bangladesh because bangladesh is really lacking behind in terms of uh, uh, insurance penetration we have only five percent and going on mostly on the life side not too many innovations has been in the non-life insurance solutions so that we need an ongoing collective effort to try things that we don't guarantee the outcome of. We don't know and we listen to the data. And um, we have an innovation platform where when we are trying to improve our program in one way or another, um, we look for certain metrics which take us to the next phase of scale. And uh, One Acre Fund would be very happy to share our methodology and maybe with other methodologies for incorporating innovation. But I think this is, uh, you know, among our top priorities is to, uh, to learn how to adapt to climate change. It was indeed a fascinating day um, because we had a a great audience, uh, lots of interesting panels, uh, people from different levels in the value chain sharing their perspectives and really um, taking an honest view of what works, what 
doesn't work and how do we need to collaborate in a better way in order to reach more scale. And I think that was really a, a good session today, a good exchange of ideas. Um, some of the key takeaways include like we need to develop a clear vision of what are we trying to solve here, um, putting the, uh, the smallholder farmers into the middle of this and learning what exactly do they need from us and how do we best address this. Uh, then it also became obvious that we need to be a lot more efficient and at the same time effective in order to serve them in a, in a better way. So digitalization, collaboration, or kind of a collaboration in a competitive way uh, were some of the key takeaways. And uh, I think it's going to be interesting to see uh, when we meet again in a year from now, what kind of progress we make in that respect. So I look forward to be back here in a year and hopefully report lots of uh, positive progress.